Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the last video, I explained what colliders are and how they work. I also show you guys how to use the box collider and apply it to our model. Today, we are going to explore other colliders available in Unity 5. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. So today we are going to cover three other types of colliders, the sphere collider, the capsule collider and the mesh collider. All colliders work exactly the same way when detecting collisions and reacting to them. Keep in mind that the differences are on the shapes used for the collisions. For example, I would not make it would not make any sense to use a box collider for a ball. Instead, we use a sphere collider since that is the collider that has the shape similar to our object. So, talking about sphere collider, let's start by actually adding a 3D object with a sphere, a sphere 3D object right here on our scene. And one thing that you guys may actually notice is that once I select the sphere, you take a look at the inspector, you actually see that Unity automatically adds the a collider to it, in this case a sphere collider, which is what makes sense. Um, so Unity it will automatically create the collider for you. So if we actually take a closer look at the parameters that you actually have, you will see that most of the parameters are very similar to the box collider. So you have the is trigger, material and center that we actually also have here. On the box collider okay however instead of size if we actually go to the sphere we have a radius okay so basically the radius parameter here will set the size of your uh, collider since it's actually a sphere so by default unity set it to 0.5 to match the size of our sphere but we can actually make it bigger or smaller by changing the value of the radius let's set to 0.5 okay so basically this is all you need to know about the sphere collider it works exactly the same as the box collider the only difference is that instead of size we have the radius parameter and now moving on to the capsule I'm actually going to add a capsule object here and as you guys can see once I create the capsule Unity will automatically add a capsule collider to it. Again, we have several components that are parameters in the component that are actually common between the colliders. So the, we have the is trigger, we have the material, the center. Here we also have the radius. So you can actually change, as you guys can see here, size of the radius of the capsule. And we have two other parameters. We have height which can, allows you to change the height of the capsule and you also have direction so on direction what you do here is to tell the engine why the axis you want to be the up axis so by default the y, -ax the y axis is selected but you can, act can actually change it to the x axis or to the z axis as you guys can see so let's turn this to the y axis and finally, moving on to the last collider, we have the mesh collider. So this one works a little bit different from the other two, the other three, I suppose, if we include the box collider. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to remove the capsule collider and I'm going to add a mesh collider to our capsule. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have the is trigger option and the material which is which are similar to the ones that we had on the previous colliders however we have two more um, two more parameters we have convex and mesh so starting up with mesh here what you do is you give a reference to the collider on the mesh you want the collider to take um, to take the shape off so basically what the mesh collider does is instead of taking the shape of um, of uh, um, let's say um, 
a standard object, for example like a box or a sphere, it will take the shape of the mesh you pass to this parameter here. In this case, it's going to take the value of the mesh of the object where the collider is. So our mesh, our collider is in the mesh in the capsule object, so the mesh used will be the capsule mesh. So the collider will take the, the form of the capsule. Next we have convex. So if you enable convex, the mesh collider will be able to collide with other mesh colliders. If we turn it off, it won't be able to collide, simple as that. However, keep in mind that to use the is trigger option, you must have the convex option on. So you probably guys probably noticed that Unity gave me this warning here once I turn this option on. This happens because the mesh, the mesh collider is actually limited to a total of 2055 triangles. So in this case our capsule has a number of triangles superior to that, so it, it will not work. So keep that in mind. That's why uh, Unity is giving us this warning here. So let me turn this off. Uh, keep in mind that mesh colliders also have some limitations, for example, non-convex colliders are only supported on game objects without rigid bodies, for example, and using mesh colliders may get you more precise and authentic collisions, however, keep in mind that they also have a higher cost for your processor, so ideally, you should try to use box, sphere and capsule colliders for all your, ob for your, your objects, so if we have um, more complex objects, for example, like our truck here, what you should do is actually what you did in the last video, which is using several colliders, creating a more complex collider in order to have uh, to try to get realistic collisions without getting too heavy for the processor. So that's what you actually should do. So and. Unless very specific cases where you can run away for, from the mesh collider, keep in mind that you should always try to use the more basic colliders like the box or the sphere for your objects. So this basically concludes our video on the other three remaining uh, um, colliders. So by now we already talked about the box collider, the sphere collider and the capsule collider. On the next video I'm actually going to cover the wheel collider which is a little bit different from all the other colliders so you are going to have a video fully dedicated to it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson until the next video have a nice day